The biggest thing compared to our neighbors is that we are organic and that we don't have bare soil. We are farming regeneratively as well, not just organic. And so we try to leave the soil covered as much of the year as we can. We are have to prep for harvest and so we will mow and flame but we there's still roots you know under the ground as soon as you put water on it just comes right back i would say having ground cover has helped us dramatically and using less water when we do get a rain um, having the grasses available and the root system to help hold the water in place and let it you know go into the soils instead of just running off it's made a giant difference in, in how we do our irrigation management, especially early in the spring. If we get our normal rains, we don't have to start irrigating nearly as early as I would say our conventional neighbors do. Okay, so as far as the cover crops we plant, we try to do a very diversified type cover crop. We don't wanna just put one specific variety in. So when we're trying to do the bee beneficial ones, we're putting in a mustard, a clover, a pea, a vetch, anything that's gonna come in and, and bloom in the springtime to really help with the bees after almond bloom is done. Um, if we need some areas that we feel we need a little bit more cover in that we wanna really work on like more water penetration, we can go with like a triticale or a more forage type based crop that has a different root system and we may plant it at a heavier rate to help build up the soil also moving forward. So once that plant is done growing for the year, then we'll break that down and we'll put that back. We'll mow it and let that settle back into the ground to help build up our, our soil. We primarily concentrate on the young fields for the cover crops. They, they tend to do better because they get more sunlight when there's a younger orchard. And our, our native grasses, once we do get a good rain, they'll actually outgrow the, the cover crops and, and they'll push through them. So we primarily focus on that, that one to four year old orchard for the cover crops. We have a lot of earthworms. As you can tell, there's already, here's one right here. There's one right here. We want to keep a really healthy soil structure. The worms are all in here feeding and breaking down all that organic matter for us. So we've noticed our almond yields are, are very consistent. We don't tend to, to fluctuate like a conventional orchard does. We're not gonna get top, top production, but we get a very consistent production, which is what our goal is. We have noticed through some researchers that have been out that our almond quality tends to be better. We have less worm damage. We tend to grade higher on size and we have a tend to run a higher oil content. So, I mean, from what we are seeing is that our product tends to be I mean, a more superior product, to be honest with you, is what we're finding out. So now we're really committed to regenerative ag. We want everyone to farm regeneratively because even if just in California, if we get the almond growers to use cover crops, we're gonna be sequestering so much more carbon and getting, you know, getting that drawdown. It's pretty amazing what we can do.